Hey everyone, I'm Dave. I'm gonna show you the Eventide H9 on my board here. This is one of two that I took out on the Steve Vai World Tour 2012 through 2014. And uh, the very first part of that tour, I had a rack switching system, etc., and I needed to consolidate get all of my effects at such great quality into a very small footprint. And uh, the stars and planets were just aligned because right then and there, the H9 came into existence and solved the problem. <laughs> um, it was actually uh, extremely perfect timing. So uh, the cool thing about this pedal, a couple of cool things actually, all of Eventide's algorithms from its delays, reverbs, pitch shifting, harmonies, all of that great kind of stuff can be put into this one pedal. Um, you can control the whole thing from your iPad. And that's important to me because I want to interact with something deep like this in as easy a way as possible. So here you can see the interface on my iPad. And I apologize for the glare. There's really no good way to do this. Um, but what I've got up now is an algorithm from Eventide's space pedal. And this is the reverb, uh, sorry, reverse reverb, which I played in the opening. Like I said, uh, it's one effect at a time. That's why I had two on my board. One was mainly delays and one was mainly reverbs, but of course I switched to a couple of different effects, which I will show you. But one at a time here, we're just hearing the reverse reverb. And my iPad is connected to the H9 via Bluetooth. Really simple setup. So let's say I wanna go and look at some uh, other algorithms here. So I've got my delays. Uh, everything from the mod factor, choruses, flangers, phasers, rotary, uh, mod filter, etc. Everything from the pitch factor, uh, and then everything from Eventide's space. And there's a few more. So let's say I, uh, I don't know, let's choose something from the time factor algorithms, these delays. I'll go to filter pong because that's always cool. And if you're not listening to this in headphones uh, or a good stereo system, put it on because you'll start to hear the stereo factor from it. Very cool. And it's as simple as that. Now, if I want to change something, I simply go over and I start touching the knobs on the iPad. It's awesome because I really never have to interact with the pedal itself. You can do all this with the pedal, but this is much easier with the iPad. So of course I can come in, I can change the wave, I can change the mixture, the wetness here. To do anything I want with it, then of course I can save it on the iPad and it shoots it right into the pedal. Awesome, okay. Let's go back, let's choose another algorithm just to take a look at here. I don't know, let's go to Rotary. Um, and let's take a listen here. It's a nice, slow, subtle rotary. Very cool. Another way that you can interact here is with the presets directly on your H9. So these are the presets that are on my H9. The very first one here is called Gravity Storm. And uh, Gravity Storm is a Steve Vai song. So I had the presets in my H9 uh, my two H9s that went through the set as we played, you know, on the Vi tour there. So this one, um, is the standard signal and then an octave down. And I do have this hooked up to an expression pedal because like I said, I did use this as my whammy. Now, of course, I'm just playing clean here, but... But you get the idea. The expression pedal can control uh, tons of parameters on any of your algorithms. So delay wetness or delay time or reverb tail or any of that kind of stuff. Panning even. Very cool. Let's go to another one here. Let's go back to the preset list here. Uh, the crystals. Classic Eventide effect. The first song of the of the set there was Steve 
uh, was a song called Racing the World. And part of that was me hitting these beautiful chords and letting those crystals blossom. Here's another example of one of the algorithms. This is uh, again from Eventide's Space Reverb pedal. This one is called the Tremolo Verb. Uh, it's a really nice long ambient tail with a bit of tremolo texture in there. All right, let's test one more preset here. Let's go to another delay. This one's called You Better Run, which is uh, one of the stock ones. Obviously, it's based off of uh, Pink Floyd. A little bit of modulation on it, but it's really that easy. And that's what I wanted to share with you is my usage of the H9s. Um, you know, on tour and here uh, at home in the studio, I'll hook these up and use them as plugins you know, hardware inserts, because the effects are, as you would expect from Eventide, top-notch, transparent, they're not going to get in your way, um, they just do their thing, and it's so fun and easy to interact with it through the iPad, you can also do the same thing on your phone. For more information, check out eventide.com.